with breaking news. As you're waking up, as you're waking up, we are following breaking news right now. Flames picking back up pretty good on a big apartment fire that's been burning for more than 12 hours now. You are looking live from Bob Mills Sky News 9, and this is a live picture. This is Oklahoma City this morning. And uh, this is actually the video from last night, we should say, as we're watching the flames that are picking back up this morning, we can tell you several fire crews still on the scene. It is an area to avoid the Classen Curve area, Northwest 63rd, Western and Classen. Some of the roadways are back up, but fire crews say at this point they are having a hard time. They can't go in because there is fear the building is going to collapse. So. This is really kind of a central part right at Northwest 63rd. It's kind of the bridge between Oklahoma City and Nichols Hills. And this is a busy spot, especially during the morning rush hour. You'll smell the smoke. You'll see the smoke. Let's get straight out to Colby Thielen. He is live at the scene with new details for us. Colby. Hey, good morning, guys. Just in the last few minutes, the smoke has increased here on the north side of the building, now stretching out across Northwest 63rd Street. You're seeing that video from last night, how active that fire was. We want to go to James right now. He's above the scene in Bob Mills Sky News 9, looking at how it looks this morning. Still a lot of hot spots, James. What are you seeing? Hey, that's right. They're still out here trying to fight this thing. They're doing an awesome job. Looks like right now they've just backed off and they're putting a lot of water on it because the water they put on last night adds weight to that building. Uh, some of that building has collapsed inside, it looks like. When it gets lighter out here, we'll be able to see more. Um, and I heard Bailey's traffic report. Just remember, if you're in the area, don't drive over those fire hoses because that's that fireman's lifeline and they're using a lot of water out here today. And as Lacey was saying, we can see the smoke. It is all the way down towards the Draper Lake. That wind's just carrying that smoke way down there. So be aware of that. Reporting live from Bob Mills, Sky News 9. Back to you. All right, James, thank you. Boy, you can see how many hotspots are still active. That is what crews are dealing with, and that's why they expect to be out here for a significant portion of the day. As he mentioned, those fire lines right now running across Western. That is why it is closed from Northwest 63rd all the way down to Classen. We want to turn to News 9's Caleb Califano. He's also here covering the other side of the building. Caleb, you've been speaking with police all morning. You've been speaking with firefighters. What's the latest there? Well, Colby, I can tell you when hot, one hot spot gets put out, another one pops up. Take a look here. This was the one that Tevis was showing around 30 minutes ago. You can see they have a fire truck here now putting out these flames and initially started on that second floor area. Now we can see flames on the bottom floor, so that is still a problem. But take a look over here on the other side. This is another problem. The roof has been really the problem for the past 12 and a half hours, but it has rekindled there. So it really just shows the work the firefighters have been doing for the past 12 hours. It's really just been a nonstop job. Here's what we want to tell you about this building in the first place, though. This is called the Canton at Classen Curve. The complex was still under construction and was actually expected to open next month. Fortunately, firefighters believe there was no one on the inside. Let's take a look at a timeline here of when this fire started. Crews were called out to the scene a little after 6.30 yesterday evening. When crews first arrived, there was a smaller amount of fire. Smoke coming just from the roof. However, firefighters quickly realized the roof was made out of a rubberized roofing material that made the flame hard to put out with water. Due to that problem, the fire continued to grow. At some point last night, portions of the building began to collapse. The Oklahoma City Fire Department tells me they are prepared for this. At this time, this would be considered a five alarm fire, and they have more than 80 crews that have responded to this scene. We anticipated that early on. Uh, we set up a collapse zone. Uh, we're aware of that. We're trained to, to recognize and identify those types of situations. Now, obviously, they are still fighting this fire. They have been for the past 12 and a half hours. We'll keep you updated, though. They still are not exactly sure how this fire started. We know that there is electricity running through this building. However, at this time, we know there was also no gas. We'll keep you updated, though, if there's any updates throughout the day. We're live in Oklahoma City. Caleb Califano, Oklahoma Zone, News 9. 
Caleb, thank you. And because this building was under construction, fire crews believe that the uh, apparatus used to put out fires within the building, the sprinkler system, that it wasn't working. That's why the flames were able to spread through the upper floors. That's what we saw in that video earlier this morning. And as you can see now behind me, that upper floor is completely collapsed here on the north side. This morning, right now, it feels as if it's gotten quite a bit cooler since we've been out here, but winds remain light. 